I'd like to move the case along as, as much as possible. Former Dances with Wolves actor Nathan Chasing Horse accused of operating as a cult leader and sexually abusing women and girls will remain in jail without bail for the time being. That decision made by a North Las Vegas judge this morning. Chasing Horse hopes to have a private attorney from California to represent him. That's right. He is already facing a number of felonies, but today prosecutors added additional charges. One related to a video allegedly showing the sexual abuse of a minor, along with two charges connected to a dead bald eagle and hawk. That's right, Trisha. And so far, investigators say at least six victims have been identified. I spoke with the former Clark County District Attorney to find out what's next for Chasing Horse. Nathan Chasing Horse, a former Dances with Wolves actor facing several felony charges, was back in court Monday morning. First matter, I'm going to call the state of Nevada versus Nathan Chasing Horse. Police investigators say he became a leader of a cult known as the Circle, whose followers believed he could communicate with higher spirit powers. Police say he built a reputation as a medicine man. Investigators say he physically and sexually assaulted indigenous girls over the course of two decades, sex trafficking the women throughout the U.S. and in Canada. The executive director for the Las Vegas Indian Center, Rulon P., was inside the courtroom Monday morning to show support for the indigenous community. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be, um, you know, something that uh, we look forward to seeing and making sure that there is justice being done. Many like P. are wondering what is next. Former Clark County District Attorney David Rogers says Chasing Horse hopes to have a private California attorney appointed on Wednesday. The attorney has to petition the Nevada Supreme Court for permission to represent Chasing Horse in this case. Rogers says although Chasing Horse is likely to face charges in other states and Canada. Nevada it was the first jurors, is the first jurisdiction uh, to arrest uh, Mr. Chasing Horse, and so uh, we will be able to proceed with our, our prosecution from beginning to end. In total, Chasing Horse now faces eight felonies and two misdemeanors here in Clark County. Uh, he's facing life sentences here in Nevada, and so uh, if, if he is convicted and sentenced to life, uh, it may become less important for these other jurisdictions to prosecute him. For now, Chasing Horse is being held in the Clark County Detention Center without bail, but Rogers says a judge will determine if that will continue. You'll hear the prosecution uh, argue that uh, he is a threat uh, to children and, and people in the community, and in all likelihood they will argue for, for no bail. Chasing Horse is back in court Wednesday to resolve the issue of his representation. A preliminary hearing is scheduled for February 22nd. We are told that's when we could hear from witnesses for the very first time.